<laughs> You're just waiting for me to start? You're ready for you to go. All right, here oh. we go. Just stop kicking stuff. Yeah, you, hey, that's an F100. Don't step on that. Oh, man. It, it's strong, you'll handle it. Oh, yeah. It's a tough camera. Ready? It is, it is. And yes. You're sitting very far away from me today. Well, <laughs> maybe that's a good thing. Maybe that's a good thing. I don't know. <laughs> the onions for lunch. Oh, yes. <clears throat> Howdy, y'all. I'm Mr. Holga. And I'm Todd Puckett. And this is Don's Used Photo Equipment. Mm -hmm. uh, Todd. Yes. We've got some extra guests today between us. All right. No, no actual people oh. guests. But we clearly have some friends yes, that, that, are, that are hanging out here with us today. Mr. Badger, Mr. Doyo. That that is true. That is that is their names. Uh, I I'm going to be Mr. White, and you can be Mr. Mr. Black, Mr. Pink, Mr. Brown. <laughs> yes. From uh, that was Reservoir Dogs, and they all go oh, by names. Well, I was going by MIB. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So today we're discussing four by five field cameras specifically, but field uh, cameras. But one of these isn't a field camera. Now I, I realize that we had a customer that came, you had a customer come in here and says, you know, I potato, would use that potato. in the field. Yes, yes. However, technically it's not a field camera because it is a flat bed, it is a rail, rail camera. Rail camera. And there, that's the difference, right? Yes. Well, please tell us the difference here. Well, no, I mean you're you're right in that regard. These have a flat bed that fold up. Yes. Thus, e compact, easy to carry, take out in the middle of the field, shoot. That's the term field camera. Right. Now, that's and, what it, And this is a folded up. Folded up field camera. So that's folded up field camera. You guys have seen We've this got one before. Others. We'll do. I've shown this speed graphic before, and it's all nice and folded up. It's about, what, uh, about three, four inches by about eight inches by eight inches. Yeah. Give or take an inch. This is folded up. Yes. Now, this one over here does not, well, it can do a lot of folding. Yes. But you're on one single rail, which the rail actually comes out. It extends. And then you really don't fold it up, but it's small enough you can carry it out in the field, but it's not technically, it is a rail. I mean, it probably can come camera. apart in a few, I mean, you could probably yes, take yeah. this off of the rail, you yeah, put the and rail fold it up. and you can probably make it a nice small little you package. To put it all, you know, then you have to put it all together. This, you just fold down, pull out. Although the lens doesn't fit, so you have to put the lens on. <laughs> After. That's the only thing. <laughs> that that sounds more difficult. It does. It does. Uh, this one doesn't have a lens on it right now, or else we'd have uh, much more yes. size to this particular camera. Absolutely. So yes, but there's various different types of field cameras out there. Yes. They all have the same function, but they're all built a little differently. They are, and you know, I mean, and all they're, they're roughly all the same. And as I point out here, they're going to have a lens. We're going to have a shutter. You're going to have a lens board. You're going to have bellows. You're going to have uh, the flat plane here, which you're going to be focusing by. And you're going to have a body on the back yeah. and a focusing screen. I mean, those are all the basics. And you're going to be able to have yeah. four by five. Yeah. Then you can sit there and do four. When you take four by five out, open up this. And then there's that's we'll get more into that. But this is what it looks like from the side. Yes. And, and here some of them the, have a handle. Some have a handle. Some have a cute little folding. Item. Some have a flash attachment. Some have. Yes. Um, yeah, see, there's a place you put a flash there. Some have range finders. And some of them, like the speed graphic, actually have a back curtain on, which we discussed in our last video on large format photography. Mm -hmm. So la last time we were just discussing the different pieces so much, we quickly right. went over that. But what we're really wanting to do here today is show you different 4x5 field cameras. Uh, what can you tell us about this one? This what, what one is the here? Toyo. A2. Now there's various different like steps around. You have the Toyo A, the Toyo A2. I don't know exactly what all the differences are, but you know, you've got a different means of how you can sit there and pull this out. And then you sit there and oh, everything's locked up. Oh, yeah. Look, you sit there and roll this thing on out. And you can stretch it out. These are definitely two-handed cameras. It's hard yes. to do them with just one hand. <laughs> it is. It is indeed. And you, and as always, you need a nice sturdy tripod. We've got two really sturdy tripods holding these things up here because we know they're going to. These are my dad's favorite tripods. Yeah, these things, are gonna, these things are going to want to. These things require a, a strong tripod. They, they're sturdy. They handle a lot of weight. And they're expensive. Well, yeah, because... Now, 
uh, the last video, I easily said that these things were at least uh, five to ten pounds, and uh, yes. it could be larger. I think the uh, speed graphic, I think I measured at like six and a half pounds, and you know that's that's a lot of, that's weight. A lot of weight. If you're going to put that on a tiny little thirty-five mil tripod for a thirty-five millimeter or a DSLR, it's just not it's just not going to be able to handle it. And it's not just the sitting weight. Like if this is six pounds, that's sitting six pounds yeah. sitting. Now, if you take this and then lower it down, the gravity adds weight to it. So right. it's actually is, let's say it's six pounds, but then with the tilt and the gravity pulling, it's a little bit more. Right. I mean, these and are balanced why, right now, a level. That's if why we were angling really them down or, 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 or had them pitched over. That would be a problem. Yeah. And so this one right here is also runs about nine with the lens 950 bucks Ooh. it's a fujinon t 300 f8 and the a2 is a lot more expensive than the a how big the is the lens CF. it's a 300 f8 okay that's a pretty good size lens it is. and it's got a let's say it goes to 64 and it goes to 500 on the shutter so i mean that's that's a pretty good range you've got there yeah f62 <laughs> so you can get a huge depth of field on this bad boy. You certainly can. Yeah. And so now these are these four are, by these are these four are by fun. fives. Yeah. Four by five film here. Four by five film here. Uh, it wants you know, as you can see, they're not that different, other than the fact that you're more likely going to pack this one up and take it somewhere yeah. than you are this one. Now this one we're going to go with, uh, show you next is a Linhoff Linhoff version. Now, all of these things open up differently. They're like all little puzzle boxes. They are. It's like, how do I open this thing? <laughs> and some of them are a little bit more tougher than others. Maybe we should have had this one open, but there we go. Oh, no, no, no. That requires planning on our part. No, we don't do planning. No, there, there's no show prep here. And then see, so you've got the, 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 fo the focus rail right here. And when you roll this back, you flip this out, come out, and then lock it down. And there you go. Now you have tilts in the front. Some of these you actually have a little tilt in the drop bed. That's called a drop bed. Yeah. And again, same thing. You have a button here. And you do this, open this up in the front, and then you can sit there and do your focus before you close everything up and then stick the film in. Linhoff, very well known through many, many years of, of uh, photography, made in, I want to say Germany, because it says right there, Germany. <laughs> it does? It, it says does? it? Right there, Germany. It has a bubble on the top. Some of these have bubbles, some of them don't. Okay. But a Linhoff. Now these things run quite expensive as well. Flat, again, lens board. Mm -hmm. This lens board simply sits in like that and you lift up this and snaps into place. Snaps into place. But Whoops, now that lens sticks easy. out a little bit. You can't actually fold the camera up with the lens on yeah. it. Yeah. So hold that just for a second then. When you go like this and then you just open this up, lift, and now, there now it's Now I'm out. Vanna. Yes, he's gonna be Vanna for the moment. <laughs> Again, now this one has a little ridge on the inside of here that goes right up in here and that makes it a light tight connection. So set it, place it, lift it, and boom, you're ready to go. And you got the drop bed features, you got swing features on the lens itself here. Let's see, see it's going side to side here, very, very low movement. You really can't see how well it does or doesn't move and then loosen this thing up oh this goes up and down i mean these are older cameras they probably could use a little uh, oiling and cleaning a little bit of cleaning with them a little bit of cleaning will probably loosen that up all nicely oh it, it, it will but you don't want it too too loose now now like i said that lens and cute. this lens is obviously clearly are too big to actually have in the camera no because they don't they don't fold up with that but now here are my speed graphic it actually has its lens in it because it has a very pancake style lens. It's very shallow in its depth. So this one is actually ready to go. I've got a very tiny lens in here. This is a F, 
excuse me, this is a 135 millimeter lens. And I believe they actually came with 127 millimeter lenses. Initially. 127 or 135s. Yeah, right. like you see a lot of those in there. So this this is this is ready to go without actually having to drop the lens board in here. But that doesn't mean I couldn't do the same type of switch with the lens board. Ah, easy, easy. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, because you have this little nub right here. That's the, yes. that's the there's a, trigger. There's, it's a little trigger that's actually wired in, so I can I fire it back here behind the camera instead of actually putting my, my hand up here in the front. So mm -hmm. this will actually go up and down. Oh, there you go. Push in, push, push up. up. And there you go. But Again, a, like this I has said, a drop bed as well. Yeah. Rangefinder top. Yep. Now, graphics has been around for decades. Oh, yeah. Range finders are on the side, range finders are on the top. Right, right, right. So they're all. Oh, this one's on the top, and this one requires a battery conversion, which I have not done. So I've never really, really used the range finder. So in that case, mm -hmm. I will have to essentially open the back. I will have to focus through here, open the lens up, and to be able to see that. But once again, uh, let's take a look at the back of theirs. So because we're, we're we're really showing the differences in these cameras, and let's take a look here at the very back of these to see how they're slightly different. So, so this is metal. all metal. This is and canvas. a bit of a le canvas or a leatherette. Leatherette, yeah. But still, you're going to have the same focusing screen in here mm -hmm. that you're going to be able to uh, adjust your focus with. Yes. Now, this is a sh you talked about the shutter curtain. Yes. This has a sh this has a shutter curtain. Does that, that that do these do not have shutter curtains? No. In fact, these are about the only ones I think that does have shutter. Well, curtains. that's well, I guess the, the term speed graphic is coming from is the oh, fact the that you could because the uh, the normal shutters on these max out at either like five hundred. And so the sh curtain here goes up to a thousand. Yes. And see that five hundredth of a second, five hundredth of a second, that goes up to a thousand. That goes up to a thousand. But my 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 uh, graphics uh, shutter here at the front, this one actually goes up to four hundred. So there's the difference here. If I need a thousand speed, I'm definitely going to go over the rear curtain. But if I if I only need up to four hundred, I can use the front lens. Side sure. viewfinder for the focusing. Okay, Let's yes, and I've got the top viewfinder, and this one yeah. doesn't have any viewfinder at all. No, none at all. <laughs> they expect you to open this up and focus from the back. But the glass ground... Uh, the, now, the, these the are heavy with... cameras. Just sitting here, I'm like, oh my gosh, this is a heavy camera. This thing. But <laughs> I, I'm gonna, so I'm going to trade this one okay. uh, for this actually oh, yeah. much lighter. This thing is so much lighter. So you, you hold, they hold, no longer, feel, feel that one. I know. Feel I, how, believe feel. me, I've... Okay, so many of hand, these. hand it to me. Yeah. Yeah, oh yeah. Whee, I mean, that thing is just a couple of pounds. This thing is six and a half. That thing may be two pounds. Couple pounds, yeah. That is my Intrepid 4x5. Now again, and they're made still in, have they're a made lot in the of tilts and swings on this. It, it, there is, yes. You can raise and lower the back, the, the front. You can go side to side. You can even tilt. Right, and let's, and of course... Now it doesn't have a, an open, it doesn't have a little pop-up and little mini shade on here. So, so you're going to need to get a dark cloth so you can focus, but we do have the focus screen. Uh, we do have, I can bust this thing down where it compacts into a nice little square. This folds up, the front comes up. Uh, I can, I can make adjustments here. I can make adjustments back and forth. I can make adjustments or if I need to, I'm going to loosen these. I should be able to swing these back and forth. Well, yeah, so I've got tilt and shift. Well, yeah, you, you I have to unlock it just enough to do that. Yeah. But I've got a lot of movement with this camera. I, I think again, there is a little bit of back movement as well. Folds up. It folds up into the folding shape that we had this one in earlier. Right, right. Do we have any of the others already folded up or not? Uh, no, I'd have to refold that one. Now, <laughs> folding once, them once you've sometimes. got them unfolded it's like oh it's too late <laughs> see this one right here you push these buttons and you lean this back but a lot of there are times to where you know sometimes the folding them back you have to sit there and figure out so i just kind of push it this rail down here at the bottom and push it in well See, well, here's here's, a lot of here's, little the, extra here's the speed graphic for you. It's a lot I can, easier. I can hit this little switch. I can yeah. push it in. And all I have to do is... Yeah, just make sure that that's tilted back. Closed. And there you go. Speed graphic. It's <laughs> compact, 
easy to carry, easy to pack, easy to travel. This is the type of camera that they used a lot uh, for press photography. They used a lot for uh, military photography. This thing, you could be easy, drop it, and you're going to hurt your foot. Okay, but it's yes. probably going to take a couple of poundings. Um, this one it looks, too. it's covered in a leatherette. There are a lot of metal pieces in this camera, but there's also like a wood body that's actually surrounding this thing. I've, I've, I've seen some people who have removed the leatherette to expose the wood, and it looks really cool. Uh, but uh, it is still a very heavy camera, but it is very quick and easy to use. Oh, man, I tell you, that's the whole interesting thing is getting them back in. Now, I've, oh, you had to push a little button on the side. Magic button. They all have a, <laughs> a magic button. Down, way down here on this side, there's a little bitty <laughs> magic button. That once you push and then you push everything up, fold it up and there, there you go. Now you've compact, easy to grab. Put it in the sack and right. take off again. You and about a few dozen uh, of cut film holders, uh, the four yes. by five film holders, which is which is what I have right here, which is which is in the back of this camera Each one right of these now. Has one in it. So you get how many shots? You get thirty six shots per. Thirty six, two at a time. Two at a time. <laughs> Only two <laughs> shots at a time. Two shots at a time. All right, so so we don't surprise each now, other here. Do you have film in there? Yes, I do have film in so here. So don't don't open that up. This is dead film. As, fact, oh. as the sticky note says, this film is already dead. Dead film. Dead film. So so uh, we can show you, show you an example. We can show you an example here. So this is film Ooh. in here. All right. Yes. And this is like a bonus as far as I'm concerned because a lot of people are going to say, "Well, how do you load film?" And if you wanted to come here and exactly. load film, exactly, you'll see. I'm going to pull out this piece of film. So this is the emulsion side, which you're not going to see because it's, it's in, the, in dark. the dark. When you this load it up, this is the non-emulsion side. This is but the back you can of the tell film by where the grooves are. But you see the little notches, notches, and this notch right here also is does a designation for what type of film it is. That's right. So back in the old days, if you could read Braille, <laughs> you could sit there and go like this, and then go, okay, this is X, X Y Z film. Right, right. So essentially, if you're if the film is facing you. These little bumps should be in the top right corner. And that's how you're going to put it in here in the top in right the corner. In the total darkness. If so, and now of course I'm showing it to you, it should be in the top right corner. Mm -hmm. If it's in the top left corner, you are going to be exposing uh, the wrong side of the you're film. You're going to shoot do, through the back. Do, no, do not do this. Which so. is what some film actually does on purpose and they call it red scale. Right. So do, and I'm going to come in real close so you can see the notches. <laughs> And that's those are the and, notches. Uh, there you we gotta go. make sure they're in the top right corner as it's facing you. Okay. Are you just trying to make sure we're still in focus? <laughs> I am. He's, Last he's, time we were out of focus for two minutes and nobody noticed. And that was the best video ever. Ever. And <laughs> ever. And people I don't know people, why you would ever want to see us in focus. In focus again. That. Yes. We, we uh, yeah, it was a little insulting. Uh so, yeah, once again, there are these nice little grooves right here and here. I'm just gonna slide it right on in these grooves. And you're gonna time. have to do this in the dark. I'm going to close the little top and I'm going to push the slide closed. Now at this yeah. time, if you, if, for example, if you want the, the silver side versus the dark side, whichever one is your unexposed, you're going to have to turn your little well, yeah, slides but, but If you're doing your own processing, that's fine. But if you're having a lab process it, you need to work out with them, which side they're supposed to have so that they know it's exposed and what's not. So there, there are, is a universal. There are a lot of different types of four by five cameras. What other brands are there out there that? Oh man! So we have the Wistas, the Toyos, the Badger. Badger actually. Well, you, what about this four by five here? I have a uh, thing, Linhoff, and this one right here is actually. That's yeah. bigger than a four by five. Well, it's a but yeah, it's bigger. But it is a four by five. Well, because it has a four by five back, reducing yes. back, right? And yeah, you can actually probably switch out to a five by seven back on here. Okay. And a little switch like this, and then everything comes down like that, lays down, then you adjust everything. It's a bit of a pain, but you lay the flat down. This is a labor of love. If you're shooting everything. large format, you love it. Yes. And then you get it to go back like this and close it up. But this is a Chinese company. Okay. Don't know the exact name of it. All right. But and it looks nice. It is. All solid wooden. Looks like brass. Uh, just all the brass. It's a, it's a very pretty camera. Uh, endings and uh, knobs and everything. Yeah, or at yeah, least yeah. brass color. 
Yeah. And they actually, if you go online and look these things up, yes, there are a lot of these things that are like twelve, fifteen hundred bucks new. They're still making these things brand new. Yeah, and uh, so the same thing with the uh, the Intrepids here. They're, the Intrepids they're, they're are making brand these brand new. The uh, the the I don't the Linhops and the Toyos I don't believe are. Badger's been out of business for about twelve years right. now at this point. So yes, a lot of stuff in that regard. So uh, the, the, heavy, that more than nice. likely, if you're going to get into uh, field cameras, uh, large format photography, you're going to be buying a camera that's a decade or two old, if not a, a hundred years old. Yes, I mean, very different things, times on that. You these things are, are. Uh, the uh, the speed graphics, what are these things, 1950s, 1960s? Well, I think, yeah, 60s or 70s is right? the last. And of course, whenever they got to that point, they actually had a more metal body at the end. And those are called the super. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, this is a speed graphic. The last generations were called the super graphics. And okay. so the crown graphic then became the super graphic. Right, right. And they're solid metal. They're well made. They run around. They are heavy. Six to, uh, 600 to 1,000. A lot of variables as to why. <laughs> so, yeah. Well, if you have one of these cameras What's and the... you know how to load the film, I guess there's only one thing left that you need. Film. You need film. Well, there's two things. There's two things? Two things. All right. You need film yes. and you need our buttons. Buttons? You, buttons. Need, you need a button? You need a button for this. Absolutely, you need a button. I didn't know you needed a button for this. Well, you do. And we are going to make sure everybody understands the buttons that they need. These buttons right here. <laughs> You need these they buttons. They can't, they can't see you anymore. Today. I know. That's all right. I'm not the. I'm not the. I'm not the. This topic here. It's the buttons. It's the buttons. Seven ninety five each. The bigger the negative, the better the picture. The bigger the print, the better the image. Yes. <laughs> Get your buttons. You need some. Buttons. And then, 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 at, then after you have your buttons, once you are ready, after you got your buttons. Yeah, yeah. Film. You need lots film. and lots and lots of film. And they're also not only different types of film, but they also come packaged differently. Cat Labs, 4x5 film, 25 sheets. Yeah. Probably the best value. That's like 30 bucks for that. Then you've got Burger Film, 25 sheets. Good pricing on this. Fresh Dating. These two are new companies. Then you have your fun stuff like Slide Film. Yes, E6, Velvia 100 E6. E6. Yeah. Those are B&Ws. And we got slide film 4x5. These come in 20 sheet boxes. Interesting. 20 sheet boxes. Now, these are Kodaks. The Portras have 4x5s. The T-Max Tri-X all have 4x5s. 10 sheets per box. Ooh. So this is 10 sheets per box. Thank you, Anna. <laughs> <laughs> then we get the fun stuff, you know, FPP film photography project, which we push on here a lot. Love them. Love us. And love their, their videos. film. Good stuff. Love their videos or all their fun stuff. So yeah. Shout out to them. FPP 405 x-ray film. Ooh. Yes. Now this has. Yes. I've seen 25, some really, 25 sheets to a box. I've seen some really great pinhole results with x-ray yes, film. That's a good one as well. And then, of course, we have your tried and true. Right, you're on your own with those. I'm out of hands. Ah, yes. All the Elfords. And we've got a lot more than this. But we got the FP4. We've got the HP5. We got the Delta 100. There's an Ortho that they make as well. So lots and lots of 4x5 film to choose from. Now, as So 4x5 film photography is alive and well. Yes, and lots of companies are making Because this is fresh film. film. Now, wait a second. All fresh. You have fresh film, and you have this one, too. What do you, it what do you have It pinched me as I reached for it. That's how fresh it is. <laughs> Upside down. Jason Langs. Yeah. Dry mount glass plates. Yes. Now, you say, oh, man. So what is this guy? Like two or three? No. Ten sheets. Not sheets. Ten pieces of glass. Glass. That are coated. That fits in the awesome holder that I just showed you earlier. So yes, you have alternative film to shoot. You have traditional film to shoot. Yeah. All of this made for these cameras. There are so many of these cameras still out there that it, they're, they're easy to get. 
Yeah, so if you were if you were at a uh, camera swap meet or something like that, and you run across, you'll see these cameras ones. definitely. Uh, let's say I'm gonna just take the speed graphic. Yes. So you run across a used speed graphic with uh, a 127 lens. The bellows look like they're in good shape. What what about is the the opening price on that? Oh, there, man, there are the speed graphics are a little bit different. The crown graphics are about 350 and up. Mm -hmm. the, there's a lot of variables involved. Lots of variables involved. Speed graphics are a little bit more expensive. And then, of course, your super graphics are a little bit more expensive than that. Now, the Linhoff, the Toyo, I actually have here in the store to sell. Uh, Mr. Hogo is kind enough to bring his speed graphic. You can't buy my speed graphic. No, no. Or my Intrepid. Or the Intrepid. <laughs> but you can also buy this, even though it's not technically a... It's, a, a it's not camera. a field camera, but, but we, we wanted to it's show so the small, it's easy to do. Well, if you wanted to, uh, the Intrepid cameras are brand new. You could actually the go into the new. Intrepid's that, website because they have... Uh, no, they're not. They're actually pretty inexpensive cameras. And they have current pricing. Uh, they're in the UK. So you just go to their website and check yeah. that out and you'll get a decent price on them. Because I think the price of an Intrepid camera... I, I, don't get me wrong. I'm thinking it's about uh, th between three and four hundred dollars. Yes, Maybe it's less. There, but uh, go check it out. And yeah, you know, I don't know what the conversion rates are and things no, like that. But yeah. I thought it was a, D a steal when I bought it because it was a Kickstarter one. Yeah, and, and I like Heck it. It's yeah. a great camera. And they're also still making them. And they don't they have different versions? Oh well, they're they're four by five, they're eight by tens. I'm yeah. not sure if they have a five by seven or or they might actually have a larger than eight by ten. Mm -hmm. So they they expanded their range of cameras and and this is the part i love about the intrepid cameras with each new generation they are making them lighter wow. i mean that is already light enough but it's like they've they've next made thing, it even lighter next thing you know be made out of cardboard <laughs> well as long as it takes good pictures that's all, that really matters. It's all that matters it's all that matters well listen i tell you what that that covers a lot right there you can still buy a lot of the lenses new i don't yeah. think any are used i don't think anybody's making the lenses new no so lenses are all going to be pretty much in the used yeah. market. But some of these things are still making new. Which is kind of cool. Yeah, absolutely. So I hope you guys really enjoyed uh, checking out some of these uh, field cameras yeah. for us, uh, with us, and uh, ha having a good time here. Um, do we have anything else, Todd? No, um, but I am getting lots and lots of film in. So film? You sell film? 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 Where's film? Man, oh, yeah. I got a few rolls of Color Plus in. He's Man, got a lot for a long stuff. time. They said that they stopped making it, and all of a sudden, boom! I've got it. He's getting Not ready more. for the film apocalypse. I and, am, and apparently, I am. he's he's buy, he's uh, buying it. All. I'm so filling my bunker up with film. If there's come a shortage it. where you live, it's because it's all it's, right it's here. here. It's here. We <laughs> got it. So come on down, buy some film. Four by five, thirty-five millimeter, eight by ten, one twenty. What thirty-five millimeter? Well, two and a quarter by three. Right. And so, but we're still talking about large format for photography. Yeah. What other large format sizes do you have? You have three, what? two and a quarter two by three, three and a quarter, four by five, eight by ten. You don't and have I, five. You don't have five by seven. No, I can get it, but I don't. Also, I have over here a couple of sixteen by twenty. Uh, a guy who ordered it for the ultra large special format. Order. Special, special order. Special order. I lost his information, so if he sees this, give me a call. It's here. <laughs> Your film is in. Your film is in. <laughs> and that's gonna that's all I know to say. But yeah, you know, this has been a lot of fun. We've we've uh, this year, yeah, we have hit a new gold. Should we talk about that? We've year? hit a new plateau. A new plateau. But you know, we're not really supposed to be talking about the numbers, but numbers. but you know what? We do thank you guys very much yes. for watching because uh you know the the amount of hours that you guys have actually watched these is like unbelievable to us. Yes, uh, yes. Be, because the, our whole goal here was just to bring an have awareness fun. to photography, to have fun, make people aware of the store, and, come in, and, and people come in. We've had two people today come in and say that, yeah, I've seen your videos, and and we and we do enjoy the comments. There are not very many, yes. but we do get some comments, and, and we appreciate yeah, that. Yeah, and they bought stuff. That's what I enjoy. <laughs> they buy stuff. They don't ever buy anything from me. No, no, they don't. They don't because he doesn't. He doesn't sell anything. He sits there and goes, "No, no, this is my I, camera. I That's my I, bag. I, I, That's my tripod. Don't touch it." Don't I buy stand it. around and I harass customers he before does. filming, Takes and they're their like, pictures. "Like, who is this person? Does can he, he work? Can here? he go? No, I can't fire him." <laughs> That's that's the beauty of my that's job. I can't be fired. He can't be fired. He's stuck here. But yeah, we we last time we we asked that uh, you know our our hope was that uh, 
Um, we get more vote. Uh, we get more votes. More, more we get subscribers. More subscribers. We want y'all to keep subscribing. We thank you for that. Thank you and, very much. Uh, y'all are adding on every, just every day. I think we're getting new subscribers. It, it's which is fantastic. Fun. So please do share, like, like subscribe. Yeah. yeah. Tell a friend. Tell everybody. Man. Tell two friends. Now here's the other thing. It would, when we tell people and you watch, here's what I want to say is that just reminded me. Yeah. Watch us on Apple TV or your smart TV. I don't know how to do that. Uh, he doesn't, but it's fun. I've actually watched our video on my big TV. And we're even better. Bigger. <laughs> so like 4 by 5 film, I, I can't imagine that. The bigger the view, the better our video is. It's awesome. So I go He feels the, like a TV star I now. feel. I do. I've been on TV yet again. <laughs> and this time, not on cops. So... <laughs> It's awesome. So I, I was flipping around. I got Apple oh. TV now and I'm sitting there flipping around and he goes, oh, YouTube. So I clicked on the YouTube app, downloaded the app, went up, typed in Don's Use Photo Equipment, up popped our videos. So I watched, I, I showed my dad a couple of them because he doesn't have a computer at home. So he sat there and watched two of them. Wait, says, wait, 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 wait a second. My mother's seen some of our videos. Has your mother seen any of them? None. Not only oh. one. She's too embarrassed. That's, that's sad. No. Well, with that, guys, we're going to let this one go. <laughs> yes. Bye. So we'll see you all next time. Thank you. Watch your step here. <laughs> your mother hasn't seen any of the videos. No, she hasn't. Well, I'm not. She, hasn't. <laughs> she sees me enough. <laughs> she knows what you look like? She knows what I look like. That's it. So, yeah, she doesn't need to see me anymore. Uh, with all this film, we got to go take some pictures now. <laughs>